call to action from survivors of the Parkland shooting. Governor Rick Scott thinks he may have the answer to prevent this from happening again. Later this morning, he's going to unveil what his office calls a major action plan. Our Jasmine Stiles joins us now with a look at what this plan is going to include. Good morning, Jasmine. Good morning, Dia and James. Well, in just a few hours, Governor Scott could roll out major changes to schools like this one behind me. And in a piece of that plan, he does outline keeping guns away from people who are struggling with mental illness. Now, just yesterday, Attorney General Pam Bondi gave us her ideas on how she plans to keep kids safe. Now, she agrees with keeping guns out of the hands of mentally ill people. She proposed a gun restraining order that goes into effect when a person is put into a mental health facility. Bondi backed the president on arming teachers, and she also wants to create an app where students can send anonymous tips to law enforcement. Today at 1030, we'll see how that plan compares to the governor's plans. And coming up a little later in the show, we'll break down the numbers of copycat threats since Parkland around the country and even those here in our state. We're live in Hillsborough County. I'm Jasmine Stiles, ABC Action News.